Freezing the growth causes it to peel away from the skin after a number of days. Liquid nitrogen is often used, but in my clinic, I currently use nitric oxide, which freezes the, the keratosis down to minus 89 degrees centigrade. And in this video, I'm demonstrating use of this device on some solar lintago. It can cause some discomfort and even redness and blistering at the site, and it forms a scab before it heals. The seborrheic keratosis may require more than one treatment, especially if they are very large or thickened. I will also provide an information leaflet to my patients on how they can look after their skin after they have had the cryotherapy so that they can recover as quickly as possible.